In this video, I will demonstrate how I treat primitive reflex. Today's reflex is called babkin reflex. What happens uh, if people have babkin reflex? I'm gonna show. Now I ask him to grab my fist and mouth open. Mouth open and I ask him to grab my fist. So now this is positive. He wants to close mouth or he wants to move jaw. This is positive. Now, now open up fist. Uh, yeah, he wants to close his mouth. This is positive. Again. Maybe he is trying to resist it, but he moves his mouth. This is positive. Now I'm going to treat his reflex. By the way, this babkin reflex is very common in adult. Like 25 of people have this reflex. Now let's check uh, reflex again. Close. Much better. Little bit more. I will explain later what happens if people have babkin reflex in daily life. Test again. Close. Good. Now open up fist. Good. Now his babkin reflex is negative. But what happens if people have babkin reflex in daily life? Again, if people have babkin reflex, if he grabs something like pen or knife or anything, if he grabs something, his jaw responds, or his jaw, neck muscle, and shoulder muscle reflexes. So in a baby, if ba when baby finds a mother's breast, now he touches mother's breast, he, they think, oh, this is uh, food for us, uh, she's feeding me. Now their mouth is ready for breastfeeding. Touch on something in the hand, now, jaw reflexes. This is barking reflex, but in adult, it's not necessary. So, if people have reminded barking reflex, writing something, holding something, now their jaw muscles, neck muscles, and shoulder muscles react, which is unnecessary movement for daily life, right? If I have barking reflex, I touch something, rub something, they it always uh, uh, my neck jaw muscle always respond, which is not good thing. So babkin reflex. Somebody grabs something, jaw muscle, neck muscle react. So uh, babkin reflex should be integrated. So this is today's video. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.